Hey everybody, I'm Clifford Semi, the pop song professor, and welcome to my channel where we make English class awesome by talking about song lyrics. Today, we're gonna talk about how you can make your song lyrics that you write suck less in just five minutes. To make this work, go ahead and pull out a song that you have written and get ready to take notes. So first off, let's go ahead and talk about the problem that we're gonna be solving here. Failing to connect with your audience by being too cliche. And believe me, one of the biggest mistakes you can make as a songwriter is failing to connect with your audience. If they don't feel like you're a real human being, if they don't feel like they have something in common with you, there's going to be no connection, the relationship will be dead, and the music will not be loved. While cliches can be used well, if you use too many of them or you use them in a lazy way, you are gonna miss out on connections with your audience and miss opportunities to say things in unique, beautiful ways. If you think about it, cliches destroy the two most important things about song lyrics, and that's being original and sounding good when you do it. But let's go ahead and see what a cliche looks like in action. As I read these two, I want you to ask yourself, do I feel like I know the author or the narrator any better? First song is Cold as Ice by Foreigner. You're as cold as ice, you're willing to sacrifice our love, you never take advice, someday you'll pay the price, I know. Cold as ice is a cliche, and so is pay the price. Then we have this song by Brian Adams called Cut Like a Knife. I took it all for granted, cliche, but how was I to know that you'd be letting go? Now it cuts like a knife, but it feels so right. Yeah, it cuts like a knife. Oh, but it feels so right. In as many lines, there are seven cliches. In fact, if you want a lot of cliches, there's a Gawker article out there about the 226 different cliches in Katy Perry's lyrics on her Prism album. The album was nothing but cliches, as good as it sounded. Yeah, bite my tongue, hold my breath, rock the boat, the breaking point, brushing off the dust, and the list goes on, to borrow another cliche. What's the problem with all of these? They keep the audience from getting to know the the artist better, and they give the artist this opportunity to substitute a deep, unique, beautiful, original way of saying something personal for a lukewarm, risk-free, safe, boring, and shallow way of saying it. Now are cliches always bad? No. I'm gonna post a video tomorrow asking you guys that same question, but I'll go ahead and say it. I don't think that cliches are always bad as long as they're done right. But if you use them the wrong way, which is the way about 90% of people use them, you're gonna kill your song. So you've gotta get rid of them, right? But how do you do that? Well, the bad news is, is that the only way to get rid of a cliche is to recognize it, and to recognize it, you have to have heard it before, which means you have to basically find your cliches yourself or ask somebody else to do it for you. But the good news is, is that if you're putting a cliche into a song, that means you've heard it before, you know it enough to use it yourself. So basically, you just gotta go back through your lyrics asking, did I think of the way to say this? Or did I just hear somebody else say it this way? Did I come up with the phrase, don't rock the boat? Or did I just copy that from Katy Perry's album and the million other places that it's been said? But I think there's another way to catch cliches. And it's to recognize that basically what cliches are is a code that means something different to everybody. If I write a song and saying, we're gonna go down in history, I know what that means to me. For me, if I'm saying that to my wife, it's me telling her that forever people remember us for how good we were at raising our dog, Strudel and Galaxy. That's what I have in my mind when I'm saying that phrase. But you might think of going down in history as being a famous musician or a rock star or something. At the same time, I could be thinking of that cliche in three different ways depending on the situation, but in each situation, it means something to me. So when somebody says it to me, I'm thinking of something specific there that somebody else might be looking at it in a slightly different way. Basically, when someone says a cliche, everyone in the room interprets it a little bit differently. So if you're worried that you're using too many cliches, just go through your song and look for statements that are vague, that don't give specific details, that don't have a specific picture that you thought of yourself, or that are phrases that you just borrowed from somewhere else. Surprise, surprise, everything so far has just been step one of how to actually fix your song. And that's because step one is to identify the cliche. So you have your song out in front of you right now. What I want you to do is pause the video and I want you to highlight everything in there that is a cliche using the strategies we've already talked about. Is it a phrase you didn't originally come up with? Is it too vague? Or is it a cliche that you recognize? Remember that you can always ask a friend to help you or you can sign up at my Patreon in the description down below and I'll help you. Especially when you're just starting out, finding cliches can be difficult. Step two, ask yourself this question. When you look at each individual 
residual cliche, what do you mean? If I was gonna stand in front of you and I was gonna be like, your teacher in school or something, and you gave me this cliche filled paper, and I pointed at that cliche right there, you know the one, and I was like, what do you mean by this? What exactly are you trying to get across? What's the story behind this? Why'd you say that? Then you would have to give the real story of what that means to you. I want you to write that down. And you know, the answer to every cliche might be a half page or a whole page of a story you have to tell, but write it down, get deep into it with yourself. And then step three is just to use what you wrote down for step two to give you ideas for how to rewrite those lines. Chances are you're going to have said something that's gonna spark an idea and you're gonna be able to rewrite that line in a way that is incredibly unique and interesting to you. And then when people read that, they're going to think, wow, that's really insightful. That's really beautiful. That's, I wish I'd thought of that. Uh, how, how do you figure out how to say that? This is gonna be hecka dope. Now remember that not all cliches are evil and every once in a while a cliche can help make a connection more quickly. But if you use too many, you risk losing your personality and damaging the power of your song to tell a story, to tell your story, which gives your listeners nothing to hold on to. If you want help like that, you're not really sure what to do about the cliches, check out my Patreon in the description down below. We do monthly live streams where I look through your song, point out everything that's right and wrong with it and help you write a better one. It's awesome. And there's a bunch of other people in the community who like to help out too. So if you're serious about your songwriting, go and check it out. In the meantime, here's a playlist about how to write song lyrics better and just to do a great job at it. Tons of videos to help you that are all free. And then here's a video about how to write a good song every time, the guaranteed process that I created. It's not gonna let you down. I hope that you enjoy. I'll talk to you next time.